Hi, this is Lee Acey. I'm your Chancellor for Social Media University Global. I'm glad today to present to you Twitter 310, which is a custom URL shortening case study. We have a couple of uh, uh, prerequisites. Uh, they are strictly required, uh, but if you haven't uh, tried them out already, I would suggest that you uh, check out uh, Social Media 110, which is an overview of seven ways to uh, shorten links for Twitter. And then Twitter 210 is, uh, again, more rationale for why you would actually want a custom short domain. What I plan to do through this course is take you step by step through the process of setting up a custom short uh, domain for uh, use using Bitly Pro. Uh, so I'll be going through a series of slides and I invite you to follow along. If you see any links in the uh, slides, feel free to click those links and it'll take you to uh, some relevant spots. So let's get into it. First, here are some examples of how YouTube and the New York Times and C-SPAN uh, do custom shortened links. And you can have something like that for yourself or for your organizations uh, as well, and it's really easy to do. And here's how. So here are the steps. Uh, first, you have to get a Bitly Pro account. If you click that Bitly link on this slide, that will uh, take you to where you can go uh, set up your own account. Uh, it's a free and, and really easy to do. Then you need to create uh, your custom short domain. By First, you need to get a list of the top-level domains that are available to, uh, for you to use. Uh, then you need to get creative in figuring out what would be an appropriate, um, useful, helpful kind of domain. Then you need to buy that domain. Uh, so that's the only thing in here that costs a little bit, and it can be quite variable in what you'd end up paying for those domains. We'll get into that a bit. Then you just need to add your custom domain um, your short domain as well as your mapping domain uh, to your Bitly Pro account. On the topic of top-level domains, uh, if you click the link for TLD options, uh, that will take you to the list of all the country codes as well as the uh, generic uh, codes that are available. And then, um, so they're both uh, generic and then by country. And then you need to just brainstorm some options as you look at what those suffixes are on those domains. Um, and then look at what your organization's name is or your personal name. Uh, that's how you can uh, um, look at what your what your choices would be in terms of how you could creatively create a shortened domain, a short domain that could have then an extension, but still shrinking you know 80 plus character domains down to maybe 20 characters or so uh, for more um, successful use in Twitter. So my choices were leeaa.se uh, going under the Sweden um, domain, top-level domain. Um, I also checked out sm.ug for Uganda. Uh, I thought with uh, Smug that would be kind of cool. And then uh, my final choice ended up being leac.me, uh, again because my name is pretty short, and we'll get into some reasons why I ended up going with that. I looked at the Sweden option. Um, and for me, this was a, an okay uh, choice. It would actually would have been ideal. Uh, it would have been really cool. L-E-E-A-A-S, no, L-E-E-A-A dot S-E. Unfortunately, it was 79 euros, which is probably like $110, $120 or something like that. And that was a lot more than I wanted to pay for something that was just going to, um, I mean, for a little old uh, university based in southern Minnesota. Uh, so I ended up uh, not going with that. Uh, if you're working for a large organization, if you have a, a, a domain that fits that well, I would highly recommend doing it. I mean, that's uh, that would be for a for a big organization that would be really cool if you could get an option like that. I did also check out sm.ug. Uh, unfortunately, as I as I looked at that, it wasn't going to work. Um, I wasn't it, I wasn't able to buy at that top level, and so. I ended up uh, going to GoDaddy, uh, did the search for leac.me, uh, leac.com, and they were both available. So I actually secured them both, and it was about uh, $40, $50 or something like that for two years uh, to be able to get that. So it was much more economical. So I also, reserving leac.com, I think was probably a pretty smart thing. Um, so just uh, for protection, for not that anybody else would take that, but why not? Um, so then on Bitly, what you do is when you have your custom short domain, when you own that domain, 
um, you go to uh, this link where I say custom short domain uh, on this slide and you enter the, the domain that you want to be using under add short domain, then you have to verify it. Um, and so it gives you instructions in terms of creating an A record on your domain, on your short domain that maps to this uh, 168.143.174.97. Uh, that's not hard to do. Uh, I went to uh, GoDaddy, I clicked on the DNS manager, um, so you click the launch uh, on this slide. Uh, then uh, I was able to go in and you look at that top level, the A host domain, and you just edit that and uh, put in the, the uh, bit.ly uh, IP address. Uh, once you've done that, then you need to go back to the verification, uh, click on where it says verify the short domain, and you'll get a message that says that the ver verification has been started, uh, that you should check back in a few minutes. And um, within my experience, it was you know five or ten minutes when I checked back. It's uh, I got this message that says your custom short domain has been verified. So I was able to to do that. So then when I went in and logged in in Bitly and did my shortening of a link, um, I was able to uh, give it. It it returned um, a link that was leac.me. And then I was actually, for my Christmas letter, was able to further customize that. So um, that if you click that link at the bottom, leac.me slash xmasletter2010, um, that will take you to my uh, holiday greetings. So let me check that out too. Then you also have a dashboard tracking domain. Um, when, and that's actually the, the main domain of your blog or of your website. And so I put in my Social Media University Global URL click Add Tracking Domain. Then you do need to go to your website and there are three different ways, uh, you pick one of them, that you can verify that you actually own that domain so that they're giving the analytics to the right person. Um, in my case it was creating another um, C name, I think, um, um, entry on my GoDaddy, you know, you hosting account, or not, it wasn't my hosting account, but my registration account. Um, so I did that and then again, you go in and you click uh, verify for that, and it's kind of the same process as with a custom short domain. What are the benefits of doing this? Uh, first, you know the analytics on the clicks that you get from your from your domain um, uh, from short links, and I believe that will give you uh, links both to your custom, you know, to your main website or or blog. Uh, whether you're creating them with your custom short domain or whether they're just bit.ly links that are created through TweetDeck or whatever. But the big thing is that your users, well, one of the big things is your users can click on your short links with confidence because unlike some you know, tiny URL or bit.ly or owly links, which could, you never really know where they're going, um, if uh, what you're saying by putting your custom short domain on there is that you've created these and they're trustworthy. So if you're clicking on a C-SPAN or a YouTube or you know one of the other custom New York Times kind of links, uh, when you see one of those short links you can know, hey, that's safe. Likewise, when uh, people click on a leac.me, um, they'll be able, if they know me, uh, they'll be able to trust that, hey, that's a worthwhile link or it's something that uh, it's at least going to be safe. It's not going to take me to, a, to an unsafe site. And then finally, you know, you're getting brand impressions even when users don't click the links. Even for those who don't click the links and for people who are retweeting uh, your stuff, um, your organization's name or your custom short domain, you know, will make you know, some kind of impression at least. And it just uh, also kind of gives you, gives the impression that uh, you are more with it or that you've done something kind of creative. I guess the main thing I'd leave you with is you will be shortening links uh, using some service, whether it's one of those seven that I mentioned in, uh, in Social Media 110, or whether you create a custom short domain. And uh, given the fact that for maybe something like uh, $10 a year uh, to register a domain, uh, you can have this uh, customized look that gives you more brand impressions and gives your users confidence, uh, I think it's well worthwhile.